So breastfeeding actually using those hormones and working, making your body work like it's supposed to actually helps them. So you will find that uh, it's more um, it's more after the age of 50. Also, uh, the fact that, we, like, I, like I was mentioning earlier, a lot of women don't have, um, don't go get their past meters after 60, you know, 70, what, four, and they need to do the pap smear or at least a pelvic exam to make sure the ovaries are okay. Um, cervical cancer in women is linked to human papilloma virus, also known as genital warts. As we know, we have vaccine nowadays that we can give the young women uh, when they're pre-teenagers or earlier. And this vaccine is uh, supposed to be given to uh, the young women and young men, because now it's for men too, young women and men, um, to before they start having sex, before they get exposed to this virus. It works with most of the viruses. It, the human papilloma virus is not just one virus, it's multiple viruses in one. So it depends on the kind of virus you happen to get. So some of the vaccine works in most of the most common viruses to try to stop cervical cancer, but not all the viruses, but most of them. Um, and having genital warts, genital warts have the same, uh, the same virus. Uh, the genital warts, the problem with warts is they come back whenever they want to. Uh, so it's like herpes, the same, that's herpes. So herpes, carries this, this on it. So when a woman has herpes and they're pregnant, and it's just before they're due to have their baby, we have to check to make sure that the virus is not alive because if the warts are present or they look like they're coming out, we need to do a cesarean section. Yeah, because the virus can cause blindness, it can cause brain damage, this virus is really bad for a newborn, for, for a baby's brain. So it can cause a whole bunch of things wrong with the baby. So they have to do the cesarean section. Um, so if the, if the virus is dormant and there, there are no lesions anywhere, then we try natural birth. But normally we prefer to do a cesarean section. Um, so this, uh, the papilloma virus, now, more than 50% of us sitting in this room have been exposed to this virus already. It's a very common virus. Now, your body is supposed to get rid of it. The problem is that some of us, the body doesn't get rid of it. The immune system is supposed to take care of it, and it just stays. So a lot of times they may test you, and you may be positive. So they'll say, we'll wait to see in we'll check you in six months and see if, the, if it's still there. And they'll do another smear to see if it's still there. Um, if it's still there, they may start watching you for cervical cancer and checking you or doing colposcopies more like every six months or once a year kind of thing because then you're running into trouble. Um, we have a high increase of, um, of uh, throat cancer, mouth cancer, and uh, because of the age, with the age, um, the, uh, the human papilloma virus. Uh, especially in men, it has become a higher number of the oral cancer. So you should always get checked by a dentist. When you go get your teeth cleaned, they normally will check you to make sure you have no little tiny lesions where you can't see them, to make sure that you don't have the uh, papilloma virus in your tongue because they can save you. Have you guys seen the commercial about a young, uh, there's a commercial that comes out that is a, a young, uh, a little boy that says, only my father knew, something like that, and then if you see him as a teenager, mm -hmm. now I have cancer, if only my father and mother knew, yeah. that kind of stuff. It, it's, it's really, it's all talking about the vaccine if we do the vaccines early enough so the kids don't get exposed. And if we are, if, if for us adults, we need to make sure that we get checked with a dentist and our, do our regular checkups to make sure we don't have any of this stuff. Um, and the hysterectomy, which is the removal of the uterus, um, is one of the most common operations performed in the United States. 
and uh, mostly for cervical or ovarian cancer. STDs, sexually transmitted diseases. There are 65 million people living in the United States with incurable STDs. So incurable could be HIV, herpes, uh, what else could it be? Uh, also, one disease that's curable, but people don't figure out they have it is syphilis. Uh, syphilis, and you have, can have contact with someone with syphilis and have no, or, or HIV, and have no symptoms whatsoever. And the only, re the only thing that you will get maybe with syphilis is a little rash, tiny rash somewhere. That's it, it goes away right away. And that's it. And then around 15 years later, you start having mental illness because it went into your spine and in your brain because it goes right into your bloodstream and then it goes right up to your brain, but it takes years to get up there. So you get no symptoms for many, 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 many years. Uh, we used to do a syphilis test every time you wanted to get married here in the United States. Mm -hmm. That was part of, if in order to you get a license to get married, you had to get a syphilis test. Not now they don't do it because very few people are getting married. Mm -hmm. And it was done mostly to hit a large population and we don't have, you know, we have, we don't have a weapon for that population now. Now we do it at the uh, prenatal exam, at the prenatal visits. We do it when they come in for pregnancies. We do an HIV test. We ask them if they want to have an HIV test while we're doing the blood work. We do a uh, syphilis test. We do HIV tests. We do a test for, to, uh, for a couple of diseases of the muscles. Uh, so we do a whole bunch of panel, we call it of tests to make sure moms it's it's okay. Because if we can figure out if you're if you're HIV positive, we can start giving you medicine and the baby medicine right away. Mm -hmm. uh, if the uh, so if uh, guys come down uh, people cannot hear in the back mm -hmm. and uh, so if you have uh, if you if you're a positive for HIV then you can get um, some uh, medicine for the baby and medicine for mom, right then and there. If mom takes a medicine, baby comes out negative, we give the bed, a med a medicine to the baby for six weeks after they're born, and that should be it. And babies are, they will never, unless they get exposed again, but they will be negative. Um, one in four sexually transmitted infections occur as we're a teenager. So 50% uh, of infertility problems, when you're trying to get pregnant, are related to tubal damage by STDs. And when I mean tubal damage, it will be uh, like the fallopian tubes, and we're also talking about the, the tubes of the men, the cord, the, uh, the, uh, the spermatic cord that makes the semen. Uh, so they, they, it produces them, so because if, that, uh, if it gets damaged, then you cannot get pregnant. Approximately two thirds of HIV, uh, hepatitis, excuse me, hepatitis B infections are transmitted sexually. You can also get hepatitis from sex. Uh, so it's H HBV is linked to chronic liver disease, including cirrhosis. A lot of people end up with hepatitis B or C. Okay, that's so hepatitis B and C um, are diseases that will affect your liver and in time, it will become liver cancer. There are many people who are now older who used, they got like blood transfusions when they have babies. They're now maybe in their 70s and 60s. And then, because before, 30 years ago, they were not testing all this blood. And they actually got the hepatitis virus. And then they find out later on, they actually have hepatitis C or B, and the liver is already damaged. And then they develop cirrhosis, which is one step away from liver cancer. And let me tell you, liver cancer is a horrible cancer. It's, you have a horrible death because it goes everywhere in the abdominal area, and that's so painful. It's very painful. It's the same thing as prostate cancer because it hits the bladder and the intestines. And let me tell you, it's really uncomfortable, very painful. Um, so these are um, the, uh, the hepatitis B and C. These are also transmitted sexually. It's C also because it goes through fluids. C, you can get needles. 
you can get needles, blood, shaving, uh, getting your feet done. Oh. Yep. I got a lady with hepatitis because she got her feet done over there, and that's exactly where she got hepatitis. She had a little tiny cut when they did it. And then, yeah. I don't get my feet done. I do it myself. I do it myself. It's uh, because uh, with the instruments, they don't get uh, uh, sterilized properly. Yeah. Yeah, they don't sterilize them properly. Um, there are 20 million new cases per year, according to the CDC, Center for Disease Control. The number may be high. That was last year's number, so it may be higher. Um, half the cases are age 15 to 24 of age. For um, bacterial vaginosis, which is a bacteria that gives you a really bad discharge. The discharge is green, and you smell like a dead fish. Oh. It's horrible. You can wash, you can do anything, but you smell horrible, horrible. And uh, chlamydia, you get no symptoms. Men don't get symptoms, women don't get symptoms. The only way you can figure out if you have chlamydia is by having an actual test done, a culture. Gonorrhea does give you symptoms. Most of the time, it gives you discharge, both for men and women. Uh, it does damages the tubes men and women, uh, it, and, uh, it can sterilize you. Syphilis, syphilis will make you crazy. It'll go to your brain and you'll become a very, uh, they say many uh, of our previous uh, like uh, dictators had mm -hmm. syphilis. Mm -hmm. I believe Dr. that- Dr. died of that, mm -hmm. that's crazy. They say they Hitler had that. And, 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 then, uh, <laughs> and then they says that uh, it says that maybe uh, this is a reason why they became so extreme towards the end because their brain was totally they become crazy they become totally mental dementia sets in horribly so uh, there are many great people that have died of syphilis even uh, one of our um, Nightingale, no, um, the nurse. Um, Nightingale? Florence, Florence, Florence Nightingale. Nightingale, right? Yeah. Florence Nightingale was one of the nurses, famous, famous nurses that took care of patients and did a lot of work uh, for, it had to do, a, did a lot of work uh, when it got down to sterilization and many techniques that we nowadays use. Um, she developed them. She died of syphilis. It was a very common disease in those days. And, uh, and there was no treatment in those days. There was, uh, penicillin had not been uh, discovered yet. Uh, trichomonas. Trichomonas, you can get also sexually, it also gives you a horrible discharge. Most of the guys don't get anything, most of them. Uh, but we do, we get everything. Uh, <laughs> we get all the, the, all the stuff. Uh, we get uh, discharge, very bad odor. Uh, and not as bad as uh, bacterial vaginosis. But also, you can, uh, you, this is one of the few diseases that you actually can pick up, um, like in a sauna. Mm -hmm. Like, I, um, I, I find that for me, like sitting in a sauna with no underwear, oh, for me is like, it's not good. Because if, let's say somebody, I know I'm gonna sound gross, let's say someone sits, they had trichomonas, had discharge. They sit in the stone, okay? And then you come back and you sit on it. Guess what? You got it. Now, I did have a patient whose husband told her that he actually got gonorrhea from lifting weights. <laughs> and, um, what kind of weight? And, uh, exactly. Uh, this, we got this lady and she was positive for gonorrhea. And I felt so bad for her because uh, so we told her she had gonorrhea, she had to come in for the injections. So she brought her husband. And when we got her into the room, we said, you know, that, um, you know, you got gonorrhea because sexually transmitted disease, you tried to get it from someone you had sex with. Mm -hmm. And she goes, oh, I know. And we were like, she was very happy. <laughs> and we were worried that she was too happy. <laughs> and what for most women would be like killing their husbands or their boyfriends. And, uh, and so we're like, okay, so we're going to give you treatment.